House of the Raven, The Elderstone Book One by Ingrid Seymour is a gripping tale that blends the allure of magic with the intrigue of political machinations. The story begins when Agnes Ann Cavanaugh, a young girl from our world, stumbles upon an ancient, hidden magic that transports her to a mystical land called the Elderstone. This realm is vastly different from Earth, replete with magic, fantastical creatures, and ancient prophecies. Agnes arrives in the midst of a power struggle between the aristocratic magi houses, each vying for control of Elderstone. The House of the Raven, one of the most prestigious and powerful of these families, discovers Agnes's unique ability to wield and sense magic, skills that are exceedingly rare in Elderstone. As a result, she quickly becomes a pawn in the perilous games of courtly intrigue. The head of House Raven, Lord Malachi Raven, is an ambitious and enigmatic figure who takes a particular interest in Agnes, seeing her potential to tip the scales in his favor. Agnes, however, is no passive participant. She learns to navigate the treacherous political landscape with the help of unlikely allies, including Gavin, a young mage who becomes her protector and confidant. The magic in Elderstone draws from the deep power of the land itself, an energy that is harnessed through various stones that the mages wear. These magi are capable of performing feats that blend elemental control with an almost telekinetic ability. Agnes discovers that the stone's power is connected to the ancient and mysterious Elderstone, a mythical artifact believed to hold immense magical power. Amidst the cutthroat political intrigue, a prophetic vision regarding Agnes circulates among the magi. The prophecy speaks of a foreign girl who possesses unparalleled magical abilities and will bring either salvation or destruction to Elderstone. This revelation sets the various houses on edge, as some see her as the key to their ascendancy, while others view her as a threat to the entire realm. The political tension in Elderstone is exacerbated by external threats, as creatures known as the soulless, a breed of monstrous beings seemingly devoid of empathy or reason, begin to encroach upon the human settlements. These creatures are sinister and apparently unstoppable, raising villages and spreading terror throughout the land. As Aga arch secret to unveil us did with the soulless, she embarks on a journey to unravel the mysteries of her own magical abilities and the true significance of the Elder Stone. Along the way, she encounters a series of tests and trials that push her to the limits of her courage and resourcefulness. Agnes's relationship with Gavin deepens as he teaches her how to control and harness her magical abilities. Gavin is both her mentor and her guardian, and his loyalty to Agnes begins to conflict with his duties to House Raven. The dynamics between them shift as Agnes grows stronger and more confident in her powers, with Gavin beginning to see her as more than just a charge to protect. As the story progresses, deeper secrets of Elderstone are unearthed. Agnes learns of ancient alliances and betrayals that have shaped the current political climate. She discovers the origins of the soulless and the connection they have with the Elderstone. This knowledge puts her at the center of the conflict and makes her an even more valuable asset or a significant threat to the warring houses. Meanwhile, Agnes develops her own agenda. She is determined to find a way home while trying to help the people of Elderstone combat the soulless threat. As Agnes's power grows, she learns to navigate the political web with increasing finesse, playing the houses against each other to achieve her own ends. Her journey takes her to the heart of Elderstone, where the connection between the land, its magic, and the Elderstone artifact itself becomes clear. Agnes discovers that her arrival in Elderstone was no accident but a part of an ancient design, and she may be the embodiment of the prophecy that has long been foreseen by the Magi. The climax of the book unfolds during an epic confrontation between the combined forces of the Magi Houses and the Soulless Horde. Agnes plays a pivotal role, unleashing her full magical prowess in ways that astonish and terrify both her allies and her enemies. During the battle, she uncovers the true nature of the Elder Stone and the power it holds, a power that could either restore balance to the land or bring about its utter ruin. In the aftermath of the climactic battle, political alliances shift and new leaders emerge. Agnes finds herself in a position of considerable influence, having earned the respect and fear of the Magi. Though her heart year longs to return to Earth, 
The ties she's formed in Elderstone, including her deepening relationship with Gavin, bind her to this new world. The book concludes with the promise of further developments and revelations in the future installments of the series. Agnes's adventure in Elderstone is far from over, and her destiny is intimately entwined with the fate of the magical world she's come to inhabit. House of the Raven, the Elderstone Book One, sets the stage for what promises to be a captivating series, offering an enthralling mix of fantasy, adventure, and romance. Ingrid Seymour has crafted a richly imagined world with complex characters whose destinies are yet to be fully revealed. Agnes's journey is one of self-discovery, power, and the arduous task of navigating a world far more dangerous and enchanting than anything she could have ever imagined. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.